Today's video is sponsored by Plumsale.com. Plumsale offers comprehensive tools for automated document creation, designing web forms, customizing SharePoint list forms, and much more. Visit them today at Plumsale.com. This week, I'm here in Amsterdam for this year's ESPC 23. I thought you might like to come along with me for the journey. Let's take a look. Greetings my fellow YouTubers and welcome to the channel, Andy Malone, so nice to see you and thanks so much for joining me. I'm here this week in Amsterdam at the ESPC or European SharePoint Conference and it's awash with news from Microsoft and various vendors about the cool and upcoming features of course in Microsoft 365 and Entra ID. So I thought in this session I'm going to look at a number of different sessions and kind of pull together if you will a tips and tricks of everything that I've seen. So I've got about five or six different cool features uh, that you definitely want to have a look at. Now as always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would love to have you on board. So bump that subscribe button, ring that bell up there and come and join my ever-growing learning community. And I really do appreciate your comments and questions as well. So what is the European SharePoint Conference? Well, if you are like many people and you've never been to a tech conference, um, in terms of career building and social networking, this is definitely something that you want to do. These conferences are usually big, they're, they're involving lots of people and it's a great way that you can mix and mingle with the community and in, indeed you can go along to various sessions and learn lots of cool new features. Um, and in this conference, it was no difference. We had uh, representatives from Microsoft who were giving their all on Microsoft Copilot, of course, which definitely looks like it's going to be a winner for Microsoft. Uh, and in addition, there were many other sessions, including by yours truly. Now, if you're attending the session this week, then make sure that you come over and definitely say hello. It would be great to catch up with you. And just before we get into today's content, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who supported me uh, and my channel for this year's Inspire Awards. Uh, and I'm really happy to report that I won 2023's Best YouTube Channel. So thank you all really very much for your support. So the first bit of news today is, of course, the launch of Microsoft Copilot. Wait a minute, Andy, you just told me that Copilot is already released. It was indeed on the 1st of November. But coming Friday the 1st of December, Microsoft Bing Chat Enterprise, probably the worst named product in history, by the way, is being rebranded under the Copilot brand. And last time I mentioned that Copilot is going to be a premium product, so Microsoft 365 Copilot continues to have a minimum requirement of 300 seats at $30 per user per month on top of your Microsoft 365 subscription. So super expensive. But Bing Chat Enterprise, aka the new co-pilot, has some great features. You get all the advantages of DALI 3, including ChatGPT 4, but it's all integrated, of course, into Microsoft 365. The good news is that uh, you've got that commercial data protection. So you know that your data is not going to leak outside of the a tenant that you're using. The downside, however, is that any chat history is not saved. And that could be a bit of a pain and will involve a bit of copying and pasting to, to various notepads and things like that. But in essence, it's a, it's a good kind of stepping stone. Now, I'm sure over time um, that we'll see new versions of Copilot and things will improve. Uh, but for now, it's nice to see that it, uh, Microsoft are actually starting to look at small and medium-sized business. So watch this space for more details. 
Next up, I want to talk about security and compliance. Now, here we have Microsoft Defender for the Cloud. I'm sure you're very familiar with this. So you can come in here. This is your one-stop shop to not only cloud security, but also things like regulatory compliance as well. Now, I'm sure you're also familiar with the fact that you can go into Microsoft 365 and you can go into the Purview Admin Center there. And I always felt that these two things could be kind of brought together. Um, well, the good news is now uh, we do have a brand new Microsoft Purview Admin Center. And this will cover all of your data assets, no matter where they sit, either in Microsoft 365 or in Microsoft Azure. And on top of that, you can also manage your data assets in third party uh, storage as well. So things like um, Amazon Web Services, you've got Google support and all of that. Now, as well as training materials and white papers, um, you can also get a really good handle on exactly where your data is stored. Um, you can see the metaverse version of your data. You can see the different types of your data, the different attributes. You can, you've also got a centralized place to secure everything as well, uh, which is super nice. On top of that, you've also got the data catalog. There are a whole bunch of connectors that you can connect to, literally hundreds of third-party connectors that you can uh, look at. In addition, you've also got things like sharing. So instantly from uh, a single pane of glass, you can see all of your shares within your organization, irrelevant of the platform that they're on. Do remember that Microsoft Azure is a multi um, a multi tenant and also a multi cloud solution. Now, as you can see here, that this is just really just a kind of um, basic kind of uh, a preview. Um, it's a work in progress, as one of my uh, friends recently mentioned. Um, but you've also got the idea is you've got everything here. You can access your data catalogs irrelevant to the platform that they're in. Um, and more importantly, we've got access to things like all the compliance tools that you would know. Um, so again, you've also got those um, assessments that you can have, um, things like uh, the different re regulations. We used to call these templates, of course, uh, in Microsoft 365. These were rebranded as now uh, as regulations. And of course, you can also uh, click on the policies as well. So all things like your data loss prevention policies, your retention policies are now all going to be uh, in the same place. So I, I think this is really good. This is just a little bit slow. Um, I think this is going to be a really, really nice feature. And we're going to have that kind of single pane of glass for uh, compliance, which I'm super excited about, actually. Um, so, and again, all of this will be customizable. So you can see that we have a, a number of different solutions here and you can add them to your page. Now, over time, these of course are just Microsoft solutions, but it is over. The idea is that it will also include third party solutions and also consultancy services, pretty much exactly what you've got already uh, in Microsoft Defender. Now, if you're like me, then you'll be familiar with the fact that you can go into a user account in Microsoft 365 and you probably notice something here called uh, priority monitoring. And priority monitoring has been out a little while and I've, I've mentioned it. But, and you could always kind of click on here and you could say, hey, um, I want to enable priority monitoring for this particular user. What is priority monitoring? Well, it's used for things like health and security alerts. You can do alerts, you can set thresholds for the account. Um, so really kind of important user accounts. And I thought, you know, although that's nice, I wish it could do more. Well, my friends, now in public preview, you've kind of got the second part of the picture. I can come into the Microsoft Defender Admin Center for 365. I'm going to come down here into settings and I'm going to go into email and collaboration. So here, this is where, of course, we can come in 
and we can create what we call something called priority account protection. And this is currently in public preview. So it tells you exactly how it works. And this is such a cool feature. So you can, as you can see, it can integrate not just with Microsoft, but also G Suite and Amazon as well. And you can see that the default label here, of course, is a priority account. Does that mean I can create my own, Andy? Absolutely. You can come in and you can create your own uh, labels and you can, from those labels, of course, you can then create your own policies. So I can then say, okay, do I want to assign uh, numbers or groups or particular users to this tab if I want to? Now, I can either do that here or, of course, I could just create the tab, the tag rather, and I could add it later. And you can see I now have a number of tags. And again, you will be able to change the colors in time here. Now, on top of that, I can also come into what we call priority account protection. Um, and you can see that this is now enabled. And once that's enabled, you can see what this does. It provides additional learning models and heuristics focused on priority account usage patterns. So it can integrate with the not just security and compliance tools, but also reporting as well. And it means that you get more detailed evaluation of results um, and things like uh, priority email. It, it will be scrutinized more in uh, the detonation chamber or the sandbox. And uh, again, you can also configure this, of course, for Microsoft Teams, as well as users as well. So I can simply, as I said, I can go into one of these accounts. I can select a, a user tag here, and you can see I've now added Adele to that uh, management tag. So as well as the priority accounts that we've had for a while, this can be a super useful feature and just add that little extra layer of security. So again, finally, you can also go in and you can customize what uh, features you want to report on. So again, I can come in what, when they report an email, for example, if it had spam or if it had junk in it, it would add that and make that more uh, sensitive. So there you go, user account protection. Uh, very, very useful feature. You can find that in the email and collaboration feature. And of course, you can see that you can also learn more on docs.microsoft.com. And lastly, I want to mention Microsoft Intune. So here in the new, fresh, updated look for the Intune Admin Center, things are getting nice and tidy and really kind of improving. So in terms of devices, we now have support for not just the usual Windows, iOS, Mac OS, Android. Now, also in public preview, we've got the Chrome OS. In on top of that, of course, we've got uh, multiple iteration support of Linux devices. And we've also, you can go in, you can enroll your devices. And of course, if you're using Azure Virtual Desktop and Windows 365 devices, you can also manage and monitor these as well, including um, the new auto patch feature, which looks really cool, by the way. Um, on top of that, um, another new feature is if I go into the apps here, you'll notice that there's been a new uh, few additions um, this new feature here called quiet time you know there's nothing worse than you know uh, maybe in lunchtime you can kind of uh, uh, quiet and down devices so you don't get uh, interrupted so this is kind of nice I can go in here and I can create a quiet time policy and you can see either put in a date uh, range or for example days of the week and you can specify which days of the week of course that you want to have quiet time so for example it might be a weekend so I can simply come in here and I can say just this is just my uh, demo of course and I'll say next and I'll say okay mutation all day or just part of the day um, and you can say do you want to require um, uh, notifications are not configured so again I'm saying no I don't want to um, I want to require to mute those 
um, notifications from a certain time until a certain time here. Uh, and you can also specify a um, number of days per week as well. And again, you can also end the user override. So if you want to allow your users, you know, they may be working from home uh, at the weekend and you want to allow them to say, you know, I, I, I want to do a little bit of work, then of course you can uh, uh, switch on that as well so in terms of tags again if you if you've tagged your machines then you can add that again if I want to add groups I can simply come in here I can say okay who do I want to uh, include in this group so again I'll just type in Oslo of course and uh, for this demo I'm just going to choose my Oslo sales group of course you could also exclude groups if you want to so there you have it um, that is a quiet time policy now configurable in Microsoft Intune how nice is that so there you have it just a few of the cool features uh, in Microsoft 365 that are definitely worth noting now uh, I'd just like to reach out and thank my sponsor this week plumsale.com I really do appreciate your support and definitely go ahead and check out their site there they got some cool stuff uh, to take a look at uh, next week I'm going to be back in my office and in my regular studio so definitely check out I'll have regular videos uh, from next week okay questions and comments about about this or any of my sessions of course just get those down below and if you'd like to subscribe I would love to have you on board so bump the subscribe button and ring that bell and come and join us all right that's it for this time you stay safe I'll see you soon hey thanks so much for dropping by today here's a couple of videos that you may enjoy and while you're here go ahead click on the subscribe button and you won't miss out